How's it going fellas? My name is Orosh and this is another episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Wanna well, say Crash Bandicoot Team Racing, but it's not Bandicoot, it's just Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Not Team Crash Racing, like the Sonic Team Racing. You know what I thought about that game recently? That the release of this game probably, you know, wasn't all that good for the Sonic Team Racing because in retrospect I wanted to get Sonic Team Racing and I even wanted to do a let's play on it but I kinda had other things to buy at the time so I didn't bought it but I imagine some point in the future we're gonna get it. You know this game has way better cinematics and stuff just better game overall in my opinion. Copper throat potions I think. Let him face his own medicine or whatever I don't know. Okay, last episode we couldn't pull off that sick shortcut I was talking about all the episodes. Today I got a chance to redeem myself. Damn it, or completely... Completely fucking... Ruin my look. Ruin my reputation. Unless I pull off this jump then. Oh my god, I did it. Ooh, that was sick. That's a shortcut I've been talking about all this last episode. That if you pull it off, you're kind of the king of this map. And no one can even get close to you. Well, Papo gets close to me because he's rubber banded. You know what I mean? Or you know what rubber bands means? It means that whenever I get ahead, he just simply comes back. Oh my god. Second time. Oops, and I fell. Okay, not the best turning I have on this character, I guess. But the one time I was driving so fast, my car just kind of lost all the sounds. Which is kind of weird to be honest. Kind of a weird thing when you drive around and your car doesn't make any noises. It really disorients me because whenever I wanted to boost, there was like no sound cue. To me pulling it off correct. Okay, I'm not gonna make it. I don't wanna risk it. Damn it, no! I'm gonna lose now. It's right by the finish line. Shit. Well, I'll give it to you, Purple Papa. You actually fucking won, you fat piece of shit. Okay, I'm gonna win now. Don't worry about it. But you worry your pretty little head. I'm gonna win this time. Promise to you. If I don't, I'm gonna have to do a Minecraft play. It's the worst thing that I could possibly do. PewDiePie's doing a fucking Minecraft let's play right now. He's doing pretty good. For a person who's like, has to look up pretty much everything. He's doing alright. You know, his diamonds like second episode. But I don't know how rare diamonds nowadays. When I was playing Minecraft, I think it stopped like closely after beta ended and Minecraft was like officially out. Then around that time I stopped playing. Yeah, I didn't do that jump before I. I'm gonna pull it off. So I ain't even gonna risk it. Maybe if I get uh, some kind of speed boost item. Then I'll try to... You know what I noticed in the game? What I think is actually the case. Is that I think whenever you boosting like this. And you gotta boost. And then you jump. You lose all of it. I think. Kind of sucks. Okay, I gotta pull it off the first time. If it wasn't that the boss is rubber banded to me and sometimes just get random boost for no reason, then I would totally win that because he would be really far behind me even though when I pulled off that jump. Like I said, that jump guarantees you a win on this one pretty much. 
Oh, you're not guaranteed you, like other people you're playing with also know that shortcut. But I can pull it off. But I guess you could do is like do it this way instead. Or you know, just fall and lose again. Not gonna lose it. I almost run into my own fucking potion, Jesus Christ. Well, I pulled it off once. No, I did. I pulled it off twice. No, I didn't go for the second time because I fell off. Oh, but whatever, Papu doesn't matter. Run himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. That's probably the case. You are fast for being so small. Here's key to help. It would be funny if I actually would. What's playing as Papu Papu right now? Who would just insult himself? Oxide, much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. I don't know why is it that Papu takes such pride in being fat and over and obese. I wouldn't take pride in that. I would probably go see mental help, me mental help, like physical help, you know? Working out, maybe like going on a diet or something or. Papu probably fucks all the girls in his tribe too. Also, Papu's like an evil character, but he's not allied with Uka Uka or anything, so... What mask he gets when he gets a uh, mask power-up, I'm not sure. He probably does get an Uka Uka because he's evil, but he's not like evil... ...for real. We're not leaving this area yet, because we got a challenge! A CTR token challenge, nonetheless. The ones I really hate. So, we're gonna try and do that, I guess. Let's see how it goes. PlayStation version has a track that's pretty much Turbo Stadium, but it's called Retro Stadium because it's like an old looking map. Like, I mean, it's the same map, it just has like. Like, it's recreated to look like an old PS1 looking. Like, like in the original game, it looks. Okay, I don't know how to pull this out, by the way. I think you go like this way. I kinda do remember that one. Uh, I know you, the turns you kinda have to like slow down or else you just crash yourself. You'll crash crash. Which you don't wanna do. Crash is cool. You should be in Smash. Smash Brothers. They should do like a big Smash Brothers thing and just start adding characters not from Crash Bandicoot into this game. No, I'm going slow, but at least I'm collecting them properly. Maybe I'll even pull it off like first try. I probably won't, but you know. Oh, there we go. Fucked it up already. Probably have to redo the whole fucking thing because of that fail. That epic fail. Not even boosting because it just makes me go like into walls and shit. Come on. Just that one, please. Six, five. There we go, first try. So I don't have to fucking suffer and doing this shit over and over. Because these challenges are the worst in my opinion. The last one's pretty funny because it's the most difficult but they give you plenty of time so you can fail it as much as you want and you still do it. The pre-last though is kind of difficult. I think it takes place on a desert. Actually I'm not, I'm not sure where it takes place, I, I don't remember. I think it should take place on a desert. But then there's no desert themed area. The next one is ice. We went from a beach to a temple, to a tundra, and then we're going to a castle. And then this area we already been to, we kind of went through it and we didn't do anything there. So see you guys later in the next episode, bye!